हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई धैर्य भाटिया वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स डीएनए फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू इन्फिनिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ जनरल एप्टीट्यूड फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ सी एस आई नेट दैट वॉज कंडक्टेड ऑन सिक्सटीन ऑफ फेब्रुआरी बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग विथ यू आई बिलीव दैट यू शुड ऑलवेज प्रिपेयर फॉर मोर देन वन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम and you should always have a content that is useful in more than one competitive exams so for that we have made an all in one book which is useful for four different examinations with necessary and sufficient material question bank as well as solution bank of each and every question in detail for this you can register at our whatsapp number given below moving on to the question the question was from the general aptitude section many candidates ignore this section but let me tell you very clearly that this section is the most scoring section you can easily score more marks in less time from this section let us go to the question the question is six indistinguishable balls are to be distributed among a b and c such that each gets at least one then the number of ways to make this distribution is the options are a6 b10 c18 and d15 let us solve this question step by step as per the question there are total 6 indistinguishable balls and there are total 3 members a b and c also the, it is given that each member gets at least one ball this gives us that everyone will get one single ball and there will be only three remaining balls for the other different types of distributions for your convenience i am writing all the possible cases for the distribution in exam you don't need to write all you can just calculate it in a rough sheet the first case when a gets all the three remaining balls now as there are total three members the second case will be when b gets all the three remaining balls and the third case will be when c gets all the three remaining balls secondly it is possible that a gets one ball and b gets two balls also a gets one ball again and the second two balls are given to c this can also be done where b gets one and c gets two or b gets 1 and a gets 1 sorry and and lastly when c gets one ball and a gets two balls and c gets one ball and b gets two ball so these are total nine possible cases still there is one case remaining that is all the three members get one more ball that is a has total two balls b will be having total two balls and c will be having total two balls because already they have one ball in the beginning so the 10th case is a b and c all the them gets one more ball so there are so there are total 10 possible distributions no other distribution is possible which is option b so the correct answer is option b thank you and you can be a member of our social club and watch 380 plus videos on our youtube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our telegram channel